Okay, L O F L. Be no black back down here on Earth, folks. Uh, watch the ticker. I'll move this down a little bit because you'll still get the image. So watch the time. It'll be 10 minute interval, I believe. Yep, 10 minute interval. And there is our bird of paradise. And basically, it, it's an object in space that's giving us black light down here on Earth, okay? Because I'll go 10 minutes more. Bam, gone. Bam. Okay, so we'll show you. We're at, we're at New Year Meyer Station, 31st. Happy New Year. To everybody tomorrow, tonight, midnight, Central Standard Time. And here we go, and we're going to zoom in on this baby, okay? Because as you see, back, gone. 15, 10, it's not there. 15, 20, it's in. 15, 30, it moves away. Okay? They really hate me taping this stuff because I'm having little glitches. But here we go. We're at 400%. We'll take you down, and you can see the station, see the snow sleds. And there is the the action there below, and we'll get up there, and you'll be able to know that it's the shot. Okay, so there you go from today, and then we'll zoom in more on our lovely object right there. And here's at 650 zoomed in, and as you see, you will see the heat transformation. Remember, it's real cool, uh, cooler down there. I mean, we, there's a lot of sun action and super giant action, so it's a little warmer than normal and you can even see that you go around and look at uh, Antarctic webcams right now and it would be more normal because the idea that the sun is every farther south that our winter solstice right now and should be the farthest away from the sun that it, the earth that the sun can get but we are at an all time I should still have what I had and I'll even update it hopefully this weekend of the closest all time recorded distance of earth to the sun and we are getting dang close to it and might be at it right now we're only a few thousand miles off of that recorded all-time history now so we've shown the heat coming off this object before where it was almost reddish okay so we're gonna zoom in more and then I'll zoom back out so that you realize that this is a 650 percent and I take a shot so people learn how to do this <laughs> and there we are live in at a thousand percent folks so I didn't even go away okay kind of wasting tape speed a little bit here, but there's your object, folks, and we have seen this before, and we have seen it with heat off of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out at 400% real fast, and then I'll pop down to, uh, I'll just basically scroll up, scroll down, and idea that you can even realize that they have raised the camera height in the past couple days by zooming out, I believe, okay, but it looks like they've zoomed in a little bit more today on their optic, okay, on that camera. And if it's fixed, then it's fixed. But all I know is if anybody's been watching yesterday, yesterday and the last couple of days it looked a little farther out, okay? And as you know, there's no damn bird down there that flies that big. Okay. These are snow groomers, basically, if you go to a ski resort, and the idea that they use them for what they do down there. They groom the snow, move around so they can get around, and they pull their uh, labs out, and you see they got the lab out there and everything like that. So I'm going to go to sp up to space. I'll play this later and see if I get anything more. I'll put it on the, like, the next video. But there's Nehemiah today, and we had that object, okay? And at uh, the idea about going to space, so we go basically take a look. Uh, somebody in a little red airplane, or maybe that's one of the ones they've had in their hangar. But we're down at the British station, and at the, if you go to look at their webcam at their where their generator's at, you will see the Aurora idea that they put the Aurora up there on their... It's basically mauve and that color there down in space. And you see a little bit of that color there, and we still have our object more likely a triangulation if you blow this up. But we do have our object also rising at exactly one minute after midnight. Okay? And then we go to 124. And it, it's still there. And we go to... Uh, or actually, that's the one minute mark, I guess, we gives us the shot anyway. But anyway, we know she's still there. Uh, it's still coming up. And it always will, because basically it's part of the Supergiant's main sequence. This stuff's going to keep coming up. Or the Earth will keep rotating to it, let's put it that way. Okay? Uh, I.e. the other camera, which... You can go ahead there and look. I'm not going to waste my time. I don't ever. I look at so much stuff. I don't remember what the heck camera, what direction it's going. Basically, I think it doesn't matter. So I'm going to show you that it's they're coming up at the same time in the other camera, the object that you saw at the other end of the runway. 
And if you go there to their site, folks, they will show you at Rothavera that the idea that if you look and search around, they'll have information that they throw a, a, a deal at night, this mat, up at night so that the idea that the birds don't run into the window. Okay? So, basically, we have our object again, and I'm not going to speak for anybody that's down there working, but for some reason, they decided maybe the birds were running into it or something, but as you see how bright it is, and it's not the sun, and it's coming up at midnight, 1 o'clock, 2200 hour, 22 to th the 300 hour Zulu time, okay? So we'll go to the next shot. So you Okay, folks, and in the future, I'll also even be able to show you. And basically what they're doing is they're helping us out by showing everybody the idea that that object's actually there. Because this screen would shade it if it was doing anything kind of a camera thing. That object's always there, ends up in front of it. Okay. Proximity Centauri. I'm probably saying it wrong. Rigel Cantaris B and Rigel Cantaris A and everything else in the Supergiants, folks. And then they go straight back. And they'll just keep going, coming in form, and we will keep following the sun. And this is not the sun, folks. Proximity Centauri, Rigel Cantaris, Cantaris B, and Rigel Cantaris A, and a hundred other stars, four to seventy-four times the size of the sun in the supergiants. And we will follow the sun, folks, until some mysterious thing that we don't follow the sun anymore, and we follow, follow a new sun, possibly. So, i.e., them pulling the shade down even proves all of our knowing, knowledge, and that what we see is what we see. And also that the idea that there is also a sign from the KC station uh, where the idea that they have put up a sign and they've put up a drawing saying, yeah, and then they saying hi to everybody for Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and all that stuff like that. And they know those objects are up there in space. And they actually make a drawing of it showing those different directions. And basically, uh, I'll see if I can find it. I.e., you can see the dates and times. And as you can see, there's a sign down there that basically shows the object and says whatever it says, Happy New Year or Merry Christmas or whatever. But it also shows the object up in the space. Okay, they are seeing this stuff. They know it's there, and there it is reflected on the building. And they know people are all over the world are contacting them one way or the other to try to see this. And there, as you say, it says Merry Christmas, and we want to say Merry Christmas back to them down there. And we love the shots from the webcam, and hope all their family and friends are doing fine. And know that their family and friends realize they're down there working their butt off one way or the other, researching or whatever. So you can see the objects they put up there, and we see this stuff. I.e., bam, there in the building, in the wall. Okay. So, and we see tons of other objects down there. So go to the Antarctic and check these shots out up in the British guys down there. You want to say that thanks a real bunch. And you can see the, should be able to see the, the website up there. And as you can see, other bright ass objects, triangulations around near it. And this shade shows it even more. Boom, boom. And we've been seeing this stuff on the ground. I've been taking tons of pictures of it. I've known it's there. And they're even showing you it's there, folks. By accident or on purpose. Doesn't really matter. Got to make sure the birds don't run into the window, right? Thank you. So, folks, Helio viewers got whatever c private contact they have with NASA and whatever and all the, in their satellites or whatever. And the idea that you see the object right there next to the sun, folks. You can't miss it. So, there is an object of probably the supergiants. And this is A1 ahead. Uh, still basically behind the sun today. And I can show you where it was shooting from. And this is 12. And you can see the ticker there and everything like that. So you can go look at that. And you can see it. And then I'll point at it as we leave. And also there could be other ones if you look closely somewhere. Being possibly up in that other flare up there too. Okay. Now we do know that they put these internal. I mean that they basically are solar flares. But you can't miss the idea that there is something there. And we know that they layer these photos. And this is basically layered from Helio server. Okay. And I could go to. I'll go to solar. Before I go, I mean, duh, folks, you can see it right there. Now, this could be a shadow of it here, okay? But we know that's not a shadow of it there. That is it. That is something up there in space by the... And we've seen it on other helio. And basically, folks, you will see it get cropped out as it moves through space. And then they crop it out. They don't want you to see it, okay? So, in IE, so that you understand, you'd have to go research when this shot was taken. I mean, I've got it down here. But you'll have to realize, you have to find out where Soho was at at the time on this shot here. And as you see, this is from 2003. Okay, it's from 2003 down there if you freeze it and look at it. I'm not going to lie to you. And basically, it is uh, one of the other comments that came by on 2003, 2018, 2019. 
I'll give you a name of it in a second, but as you can see, you can see the objects that are there. So you need to research that shot of that date and time and see where the Sohos were pointed at that time. And those are some shots of the Supergiants objects that are up there. Later. And it was a comet that came by that at that time, folks. Okay. You're going to see it come by, and it's not a spaceship. It's not a satellite. And here it comes. Okay. So I'm not sure what comet that was, but just going back to it. But basically showing you the idea that there's objects in the Supergiants back there. Okay. So quickly, I had Nehemiah plane, and basically we have another that object, and I think it might match up with the time on the other shot. But anyway, at tw at 2241.82, you can zoom in on that. And I think they put the uh, pile of snow there right where we can't see those objects that I was showing you that were off in that sky. So they're keeping the studies of those objects to that side of the station to their cells. And basically, you can also see this in the sky right here, too. And you can see the triangulation there. So more than likely, uh, possibly a whole triangulation of that that right a little speck there in here I uh, get 400% that spot there and you'll see that spot also there and then we'll pop over here and there's our object let's zoom in on that I .e., there's your object folks I'm even gonna stop tape tip tip picture here real fast and then zoom out there it is in front of this so ie somebody doesn't like us seeing what they're seeing and there you go there's a station down there and that's the shot and I go up here and it should be over the clock and there you go okay so I'll pop down and go I'm gonna pop out 400% get me another shot and we'll even go to 200 percent i guess on that well let's drag down and see what we get you know yep it's still being the clock so we'll just kind of half hitch the clock and i'll snap another shot and as you can see basically the pile gets put up there just before our big ass object comes up there here comes a uh, pile of snow folks so don't know why but anyway that's as good as place as any, I guess, to put it. And then we got our object coming up. Maybe they're going to see if it... I don't know. But then, here comes our shadow. Okay. Okay. So there you go. And check that action out. Wow. Okay, so watch all the Nehemiah action. And if you roll back and freeze this, you can see the asteroid des designation, name, X position, and Y position. Okay. That are going to be in these high one... And a, uh, basically all the high shots that I'm going to show you. Okay. H12B. And then we will zoom in in a second if we got enough time. There's H12A. Okay. And I had Lovejoy there. And then basically we get H1, high 1A. One because you can always freeze it. Save some video time. And you will see what you see. And basically, yes, electrical magnification not a lens flare, not an internal uh, lens flare. It's basic electrical energy, and you see it because the camera will record it. And yes, it distorts off the camera, but it, the electrical energy is actually there. That's why you see it, and that's why the camera shows it to you. And that's how we invented pixel light. Not me. I wasn't part of the Wii, but it was invented. And it does a damn good job, folks, in industrial applications and many applications. And i.e. pretty much the seals, pretty much all we see is this truth here. We know that's truthful. And then basically we see all this overlays here, recent. And let's go ahead and go up and see the aurora. Okay. And more than likely earthquake activity will be there. There is your moving through space and so forth. Satellite positions. You can always freeze the shots. You can always watch the videos at, and there's your aura static going through through space at more than 60,000 miles an hour. And how fast are we spinning, ladies and gentlemen? That's what I'd like to know. I'm going to be trying to research like that at pretty soon. Remember the cool areas on the sun? Basically, that tells some truth. That tells some truth. Uh, check the temperatures out. I'm not going to be getting in trouble by showing the temperature because basically it's going to be freaking people out because I do believe it's cooling off. And uh, i.e. electrical on what I'm telling you, basically those cameras always show us the electrical. You will see it. All the fluxes, okay? And when they say radio fluxes, they do pick this all up by radio and there are signals out in space all the time, ladies and gentlemen. We're always listening to them. Cygnus and so forth and so on. And there are planets out there that put electrical signals off. And there's sea temperatures this year, too, so don't let them talk El Nino because the idea, well, whatever, they want to talk El, whatever Nino, because the idea, there's the water temperature. Warming, the Pacific is warming up pretty good, okay? I.e., a shadow, folks, but not electrical, okay?
you will get a big shadow as I don't know what planet this was but you check the time and the date and you'll end up knowing what planet that here more videos soon